And welcome back to the Dawn Show here with my friend Aaron McCool DeLong of the Philadelphia Zoo and another little friend. Now in the south, you would call this little creature a palmetto bug, which is a kinder name. But Aaron, what is this really? So it's really not a palmetto bug, although commonly people will refer to uh, lots of large uh, insects as palmetto bugs. These are Caribbean or cave cockroaches. Uh, you find them across the Caribbean. Uh, they are one of the largest species of cockroach, um, and they're just see. super cool. They've got these wings. They can flutter around. Um, one of the interesting facts about these guys if you had 30 or 40 adults, they could eat about a cup of cooked hamburger in about an hour. So, wow. Yeah, they're pretty so amazing. So they're nature's garbage disposal they are, in a way. They're decomposers. They're really important to have in the environment. And you know, I always think of the movie WALL-E, uh -huh. where the only thing that survived or the earth after it was so polluted Our cockroaches. was like a little cockroach. Is that really true? They really are really resilient animals. They can survive really harsh conditions. Um, they can survive for long periods of time without food or water. Um, but obviously, you know, at the zoo, they're well taken care of. Um, these guys get a fresh diet every single day, um, and they live in a colony in Kids U in our new exhibit. And what's a fresh diet? Uh, so they get a lot of um, ground up dog food, so dry dog food. They're primarily carnivores. And then as a treat, they get um, some lettuce and little bits of fruit and things like that. But okay. primarily they're carnivores, carnivorous animals. And again, you know, we, we had, so we had the legless lizard and a lot, you might be thinking, ooh, how can she handle that? But these are really, uh, cool and gentle. Yeah, they're they very are. docile. They're very docile. They're an insect. And you know, if you think about Oh, jeez, I don't want to drop it. That, the, that's all um, the danger. I mean, they've got teeny tiny little mouth parts, so they're not going to bite you. They're not going to scratch you. Um, they get a reputation for carrying disease, but my, most often cockroaches actually don't really carry disease. Their exoskeleton, which is like their skeleton on the outside, okay. is made of chitin, which is this smooth material, really smooth and strong material. Kind of like your fingernails. Our fingernails have keratin, which is similar. And so the interesting thing is we have a tarantula here too. Yes. And the tarantula, Conversely. We, would, we, we wouldn't want to hand, you would think right. that that's this tough, bad yeah. insect. This is the tough one. This is the tough one. He's a little bit more delicate. So he, I don't know if you can see him, he has an exoskeleton as well, um, but his is really very fragile. So if he were to fall from a short distance, uh, he could also break his uh, his exoskeleton, which is not such a good thing. I don't know if you guys, you want me to turn it a little? I don't know if you guys there. can see. He has a little friend in there with him. Um, his diet is sitting right on his water bowl there. He okay. loves to eat crickets. Um, he gets a cricket a couple times a week. Um, these guys are purely predators. So they eat insects and they hunt for their food. Um, they've got fangs that they'll inject their venom in to eat their prey. Now for people, tarantulas get a bad rap, but generally speaking, his venom is about the same as being stung by a bee. So it's really? pretty mild, yeah. So most people don't need to worry about a tarantula, mm. um, but they do get a bad rap. And tarantulas can be pretty large. There are some species of tarantula that can be about the size of a dinner plate. Whoa. Yeah. that would scare me. Yeah, yeah. I have to admit the spiders, I'm, a, yeah. you know, I can hold the cucaracha, I can hold the snake or the lizard, but the spiders, I don't know, they, they freak have that, me out. Yeah, yeah they, they have, have those that. eight legs, those eight eyes. And all the eyes yes, looking at you. Uh -huh. But what amazes me is, so these little guys mm -hmm. could eat all this hamburger, uh -huh. and the tarantula, who again, you think of as this creepy big eater, mm -hmm. eats three bugs and yeah, he doesn't eat as much. Well, light eaters. If you think about cockroaches, they're decomposers, so that's their job, to eat rotting materials and to keep the, the ecosystem in balance and healthy. And his job as a tarantula is to be a predator. So he's seeking out um, insects and things like that, but he's just not eating as much as, as something like a cockroach. Cool. Yeah. Now tell me about, we have the, um, the beast speaking event. of eating yes, yes. Speaking of eating. <laughs> we have uh, beast feast coming up and this is our yearly event that we do all of our animals are getting pumpkin treats and uh, fall autumn treats uh, donated very graciously from Lynn Villa Orchards. They've been with us for several years, so we're able to provide locally grown produce about every half an hour. Uh, this is the first two weekends of October. Every half hour, the animals are going to be getting some sort of treat. So as you walk through the zoo, you'll be seeing hippos playing with their pumpkins, penguins, um, you know, our giant tortoises, and the primates. Apes. The, ape, the apes love the pumpkins. They actually will throw them around their exhibit. And our little baby snow leopard cubs are going to be getting some 
some pumpkins as well. So everybody has a pumpkin. That is a yeah. hoot. And yeah. the foods from Lynn Villa, they have the best yes. pies mm -hmm. ever. They do. I just had their apple pie. It's excellent. <laughs> and they um, have been so gracious to donate the pumpkins each year. And, you know, just like anything at the zoo, we want to be sustainable and walk the walk. So yeah. we like to use um, locally grown produce. It's, it's good for the earth. It's good for animals. Yeah, which is wonderful. Yeah. This is, and you know, we Purell, we should say, in between uh, the commercial break. Right. Thing, and I was thinking that maybe I, you know, from the from the legless lizard, like he could catch something. Is that true? Is that well? You know, the legless lizard certainly. You know, anytime you hold an animal or touch an animal, we certainly recommend that you wash your hands. But we were saying that cockroaches they get a reputation for spreading disease, but not so much. You know, they they have that um, chitin exoskeleton, so they can't really carry bacteria as well as say like a mammal with hair or fur. You know, like we are. Um, so they're actually pretty clean animals. That's yeah. so interesting. Yeah. More with Aaron McCool, the cool stuff at the zoo. That's right. When the Dawn Show continues. <laughs>